Good morning, Clayton Stuffelbeam here. I'm with Bex Hybrids. I'm at day two of National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. Today I'm with Jeff Worley with Yetter Manufacturing out of Colchester, Illinois. We're going to speak a little bit about starter fertilizer cultures, specifically Yetter's Dual 2968 Series 2x2x2 two by two by two cultures. Um, give me some insight of why this product was developed. What we found, Clayton, is that a lot of these planters today, front folds, narrow transports, we're running out of room up front. Yep. You know, frame mounted coulters basically, row cleaners on the front, we just don't have the clearance is what we've always had. So basically that was the, the start of this is to give a good option, you know, to get nutrients right. down on the planter and, and still be able, you know, to, uh, you know, save room up front basically. Right. Um, a little bit of my experience too, I used to run some frame mounted coulters in the past and if you were dead on with your depth, you could throw some slabs into your gauge wheel and can have some inconsistent seed depth because of that. So we think our placement here is probably a better option than a frame mounted, is that correct? Exactly. What we're finding is the seed to fertilizer relationship because we're, ha we're hooked to the seeding unit. Yep. You know, we're hooked right so if the row unit does come up, so does the depth of our fertilizer. Where frame mounted coulters, you know, frames move going through the field in varying soil types. So we just didn't have that seed to fertilizer relationship like we do right with the right we're, we're staying with the same depth with with the with the seed there right um are we adjustable up and down yeah we can go depth wise uh, probably two inches in the soil maybe a quarter inch below seed depth but okay we're basically placing it in that zone seed and above um where where are most guys running their depth at what would you say usually i'm going to say they're right at basically that two inches in the soil profile. Yep. I mean, not too many guys are going below seed depth, seed. but we're going even or maybe even a little shallower. It used to be with the probably the old frame mounted style, the, the depth of two by two was kind of muddy per se is, is what you should run. A lot of guys were thinking two by two was two inches over and two inches below the seed. Right. That's pretty hard to achieve, especially when you get in some conditions where you're bringing up some moisture. Um, with this, I, I think probably staying at seed level or a little bit below is probably a pretty good option. Exactly. Um, I see you're using a, a, a high pressure injector here. Right. Um, tell me a little bit about that and then tell me about your new knife kit. What we find, I, I tell guys we don't want to get too carried away with our pressure. You know, 15 to 25 pounds of pressure, you know, and getting our orifice size the right size yep. because we want that pencil lead stream. You know, we don't want to blow it every all over everything we want just a pencil lead stream to get down and through here yep so this injection we've been selling for five six years basically um, still works good but you're right we did offer a new option of the uh, spring-loaded knife you know okay. that can also run down in that trench as well you think that's going to be pretty popular or do you think you saw more of those than the injector or where do you see the market going well this will be our first year for the knife okay uh, and basically what we're finding you know, it's kind of hard to variable rate fertilizer with an injector type mm -hmm. scenario because the only thing we have is either up our pressure or change our orifice. Right. So with the knife, we are going to be able to do a little more variable, variable rate, rate because there's not going to be an orifice involved. Okay. I haven't thought much about the, doing the variable rate. That's a pretty good point there. Um, since the product's been out, what changes have you made? Tell you, not very many. The added the knife is basically about our only change that we've made. Okay. Um, it's it's been durable enough I mean a lot of guys talk about it's too long but you know for the six years that we've been selling it it's not been a showstopper you haven't seen many guys come back and say we've twisted our row unit shanks or the closing wheel tails to the length I have not I mean we get into some rockier conditions some older planters that right. are worn mm -hmm. in the first part but as far as total disasters no I just haven't seen it okay um, the only complaint I have about the length is when we're doing plots, I gotta, I gotta walk over, <laughs> over those units a little bit. Shin but, buster. Uh, right. Shin buster, that's right. Um, now, we've seen some pretty good data. Tell me what told you guys to do two by two by two versus just a single culture. Well, we've just seen and listened to a lot of growers that they're wanting to dual place that mm -hmm. nutrient. I mean, it's a better value for our buck is to get it on both sides of the row. And so, you know, listening to customers again and what they're seeing, you know, we've always done a single like frame mounted in right. front. And so, you know, we're finding that dual placement is really huge as far as that early growth of that seed. Yeah, getting, getting the roots to the nutrients and then growing more roots as they find those nutrients is pretty important. Exactly. Um, and we've seen some preferential root growth by only utilizing one side. 
Right. And, and by using both, we're not seeing that today. Yep. Um, what about cost? List, we get into a list price for a dual system is $500 for a dual okay. and $300 for a single. Okay. And if we do add the optional knife, the optional knife is $100 per side. Okay. So. Okay. Um, get, getting uh, our hands on those those cultures pretty easy. We got quite a quite a wide dealer network. Yeah, we're we've definitely over the years, you know, our production schedule kind of has an idea of what we've been selling over the last yep. three and four. It is growing. Um, yeah, we do sell a lot of them, but so far and usually after this show. You know, things get a little tighter, mm -hmm. so I recommend if guys are going to go this way, it's time to kind of get those yep. orders in right now. We're probably roughly around 50 days from starting planting, planting corn right. here, so it's time to get on the ball. <laughs> That's right. Um, let's talk about some uh, important things here. Let's talk about yield data. So through our PFR research, we've, we've been doing a number of different studies with 2x2x2 with yeah. two by two by two systems. Um, the one that really speaks to me here is our nitrogen placement study. So 30 units from, from, from utilizing just one side of, of the system and then comparing that to going to both sides gave us an average over two hybrids this past year at three farms, 4.2 bushels per acre, yep. which equates to $16.47 at the same rate. So long-term payoff it doesn't take many acres to pay that off just by splitting on both sides of the row. Now, if we increase our rate at our, at our top yield here and our top return on investment to 60 units, we double the rate, but we're putting concentration on both sides of the row instead of one, so our concentration is not quite so high, we gain 10 bushels per acre, which equates to roughly $40 an acre. Yep. So quite a return on investment on that. Yeah, usually when, when growers come by and if they already have them, you know, and have used them for a couple of years, they, they're pretty smiling, they're smiling, you know, because they do see that jump as far as yield wise, um, you know, in their crop. Yep. I, from using, using systems that I've used more than just yetters, I'm really happy with the results of just splitting on both sides of the row. Yeah. I think there's a major, major gain by doing that. Um, Jeff, is there anything else you'd like to add? No, it's just, been, it's, a, it's a simple, easy design. You know, being that we're out back, the cleanliness of our planter, you know, frame mounts up yep. front, we did a lot of covering with fertilizer with our row units. Oh, yeah. And so by getting it out back here, our planter gauge wheels aren't running over any slot or anything up front, so we're keeping them clean. But, you know, it's huge that fertilizer on planters just don't mix. <laughs> and, and keeping it back here definitely allows us you know, to add value to our planner as far as trade-in wise. Yep, and I think you speak real good there with interference. We're not interfering with the seed trench at all. No. That's probably the most important thing that we don't do. That's correct, yep. So, well, thank you, Jeff. Uh, again, I'm Clayton Stuffelbeam here at National Farm Machinery Show. Thanks for joining us.